Hi, welcome to the Data Science and Artificial Intelligence video. I'm Job, I'm currently following my master and I have already done this bachelor. In this video, I will guide you through what LIDA has to offer and what is exactly in the Data Science and Artificial Intelligence program. So what is AI? AI, or Artificial Intelligence, is about researching and designing information processing. This means that we try to extract data or other important information from a larger data set. By doing this correctly or with sense, we should uh, end up with intelligent behavior. A common way to do this is a sense-think-act cycle, where in the first step you sense the environment, then you think about the environment, and in the end you will perform an action um, which should maybe change again the environment. A core component of this is the logical reasoning. This consists of logic, deduction, planning, decision making. By combining these four steps, um, we will end up with computer assisted logical reasoning. This has, of course, to do with the think step in our stand, think, act cycle. Uh, a second part is the data driven learning. This you might know a bit better already is the machine learning or the neural networks. Um, two other core components of this are the optimization and the reinforcement learning. These all combined uh, will have that a computer can start learning certain things by looking at a data set instead of us telling the computer what to do. And there's of course the body aspect. Um, this could be a self-driving car such as a Tesla or it could be a robot. Um, it could not even have a physical body and simply only appear on screen. Um, it could even not appear on screen and only be somewhere in the back end. Um, but a maybe better known example is a character in game, which can of course also be played by the computer sometimes. And then finally there's a psychological basis. Um, this part deals with how AI um, is connected relatively to our brain. So for example, cognitive psychology, cognitive neuroscience, which is actually about the neurons firing in our brain, um, the philosophy of mind, and user studies, which we need to do, of course, uh, for research. Okay, and what is data science then? So you might have heard a lot already about AI or artificial intelligence, but data science is a bit less known. Um, the, b the basis of data-driven science, something like AI, um, is data science. We need this for the knowledge representation. How do we show to a computer or to a human uh, our data set for data analysis? How do we get certain important aspects of our data set to show to the user? And data mining, how do we even get this data set? What is important? Uh, what factors do we need to have in our data set? So why should you do this in Leiden? Um, one of the big factors is uh, that it's really a student city. Um, and this might not be too important for you right now, but it will make your study a whole lot more fun. Well, another reason is that it's founded in 1575, which might not be the best reason to go and study here, but that does mean that we have strong relations with other universities where you could then go study your, yourself. So you can go abroad in your second or third year. And finally, and I believe this is the most important one, is that in Leiden, our focus for a uh, data science and AI bachelor student is that not necessarily you should have the right psychological basis, but much more importantly, you should be a very competent computer scientist. So you will be very good at programming and data mining. And when you have those skills, we believe you will be able to do this study much better. What does this program look like? This program consists of four research areas, cognitive psychology, artificial intelligence, data science, and research methods. I also put in there computer science, but this is not actually one of our focus areas. But the, you will find this computer science part basically in every area. So you will find it in the cognitive psychology, in the artificial intelligence, in the data science, and even in the research methods when we talk about statistics or extracting certain data from a data set, uh, you will need some computer science or some programming knowledge for those kind of things. Um, for the artificial intelligence, it might be a bit more clear. Neural networks are made with computer science techniques and cognitive psychology also uses some computer science. 
This, this program consists of three years, each being 60 European credits, so in total 180 credits. In the first year, and only in the first year, you will have your binding study advice, um, which means that you will need at least 45 European credits or you can't continue the study. Uh, on an average week, you will have about 20 contact hours, although this could differ from the beginning to the end of the semester or from semester to semester. The program consists of 30% computer science. So I mentioned this was not of the focus areas, but this does still mean you will have introductions to programming. You will have algorithms and data structure courses. And then 27% is true data science and AI subjects. So this could be reinforcement learning or the neural networks. Then 30% is academic skills, although most of this is taken up by the thesis, which I think is about 80% of this 13%. Then another 13% is mathematics. So this is linear algebra, calculus, and for example, logic, although logic could also be in the computer science category. And then finally, the, there are 17% of elective courses. So this is your minor or other electives that you have chosen along your path, or you could even do this abroad, so in a different university. There are a few forms of education. The first is the lectures, where a professor will be in front of the room uh, with many students, so this could be with up to 200 students in one room. Um, and then there are also work groups, which means that you will be in smaller work groups with a few other students working on a practical assignment. Then there's also the practical coursework you typically do at home. Um, so this will mean, for example, a research project or a programming assignment. And then there are exercise classes, which are typically up to a maximum of 30 students, uh, in which you will get a, yeah, also practical coursework, but there will be uh, people to help you there. Uh, these could either be PhD students or student assistants, or sometimes it could be the professor or the researcher uh, itself. So I already mentioned it's 20 hours per week. On average, it could differ a bit. Um, and each semester ends with exams. So this could be um, that a subject only has an exam. It could be that a subject has an exam and practical coursework, or it could mean that the course doesn't even have an exam and is only based upon the practical coursework you have done before that. So in the first year, I already mentioned this binding study advice, and it will be mainly focused on computer science and mathematics. In the second year, um, you should have in total 120 European credits, and it will be much more focused on the data science and AI part. And in the final year, it will be focused on your thesis uh, and the electives you chose, and you should have in total 180 credits. So the first year I already mentioned, mathematics, computer science, those are the main components, and there are some introductionary courses to, for example, um, AI itself. In the second year, there will be very li little mathematics and computer science, and that means that in return you will have much more of the true core components of uh, artificial intelligence, such as neural networks and reinforcement learning. Also, data science will be much more prominent in the second year, where you will start with uh, statistics, for example. And in the third year, you will have your bachelor thesis, which takes up uh, yeah, half a year, or half of the time of half a year, so in a, in a sense, a quarter of a year. Um, your electives will be in that year and also your minor, which can do either here in Leiden or somewhere abroad. After completing the bachelor. After the bachelor, you have a few possibilities for doing your master. The first being doing your master at LIAX, which is the Leiden Science Faculty. You could do, for example, computer science, which also offers an artificial intelligence track. You can do ICT in business, or you could do computer science and the public sector. A second possibility is doing your master anywhere else at Leiden. So that is, for example, applied cognitive psychology, methodology and statistics in psychology, or the psychology cognitive neuroscience track. 
for these masters, you do have to do certain electives during your uh, third year in Leiden. So that does mean that if you do not do these, you cannot necessarily follow any of these psychology-related masters. The final option is doing a data science and AI-related master anywhere else. Uh, this could be in the Netherlands or anywhere else in Europe or even further. You could also still do a computer science-related master because data science and AI and computer science are so related. There might be some admissions from the university itself though. So what are the key competencies you will have after doing this bachelor? The first is that you will be able to process theoretical knowledge. So this means that you will understand how a neural network works from the inside. Not only being able to apply it to a real world problem, but actually knowing how these techniques work and how you can even optimize it. Uh, a second key competency you will be taught is being very good with the practical work. You will be able to implement a reinforcement learning system or you will be able to implement a neural network system in a real uh, world problem. And finally, you will be able to work as a data scientist or an AI expert in a range of industries. A few of the possible jobs you could start with, even before obtaining your master, um, are for example, being a data and AI specialist, being a machine learning engineer, being a data scientist, or being a business intelligence developer, or of course, a more general software developer. Is this the right program for you? If you want to study this bachelor, there are two things you should keep in mind. The first is that you actually like mathematics. It shouldn't be or doesn't have to be your favorite subject, but you should have at least some interest in it. Also, you should be interested in the latest technology, which is, of course, very much AI related often. Also, you need to want to learn the theory behind AI, not only how to apply it to certain real life problems, but actually knowing why does it work like this. You have to find that interesting. Admission and application. To do this bachelor at Leiden, you do need certain admission requirements. If you are Dutch, you need a VBO certificate with Mathematics B. If you are from outside the Netherlands or you don't have the Mathematics B certificate, you probably need to get a Mathematics certificate. You can do this either at OMPTD and you need at least 60% or you can do this at Polswell. There's also a mandatory matching part. This means that there is a matching test that you have to complete. It is not actually about achieving a high score for this test, but it is much more about um, seeing if you actually like this program and for us to also see if you are going to like this program. And if you fail such a test, we will simply have a talk with you to see if this is actually the right program for you, but you will still be admitted to the program. There are also some other activities you can do to see if you like this bachelor. You can come to an open day, which we have one coming up, or you could do an online experience day, which is a day with uh, classes filled, uh, to especially to see if you like this program. You could also sign up for a student for a day event, in which you get to join a first year student for an entire day to see what a typical day is like, or you could chat with a student. If you want more informa information, you can check this link to the website. You can find more information on admissions or directly chat with a student from this link. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, you find the right study for you and hopefully till next year in Leiden. <laughs>